Welcome to another cleaning motivation. Tonight I'm doing a very relaxing night clean with me and also showing you a really healthy stuffed peppers recipe with quinoa that I love to make for my family. I wanted to show you kind of like the before of what my house looks like. This is pretty much a nightly routine for me to clean my house because I have a toddler and a one month old so usually there's toys all over the place, dirty diapers and the kitchen is usually somewhat of a mess so I just like to clean it all up and I like when everyone is in bed to kind of just relax and take my time to clean stuff so I don't have to be in a rush so if you have any nightly cleaning or any cleaning to do this is a really great time to do it we can do it together and let's get started with tonight's cleaning motivation if you guys are new to my channel my name is Yelena and I make a lot of homemaking kind of videos cleaning motivation and motherhood videos so go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like those kind of videos and also if you like recipes because I also do a lot of recipes decorating videos so definitely subscribe and yeah let's get started with today's cleaning motivation Here I'm just filling up the little caddy that I have for my one month old. This is literally the best invention ever. I never had this with my first but I honestly recommend this to any moms out there or any first time moms second time moms um this is literally the greatest thing i just keep this by my bedside since i do wake up in the middle of the night several times to feed and change my newborn uh, this is like the best thing ever i just fill it with diapers or any essentials that i don't have to have like all over the place 
and I do this every single night to just make sure I have everything right by me or by my side so when I wake up in the middle of the night to change him or to feed him I have little burp cloths and basically his little vitamins little um, extra wipes and clothes so it's definitely something that i use every single night and i really recommend this to anybody out there just to keep everything right there and it just makes my life so much easier so i don't have all this stuff just all over the place or i have to like run into his room to get some extra diapers or wipes everything's just right there so it's nice and handy i definitely recommend it and then uh, moving on to laundry this is something that i literally constantly do and i uh, put this off for like the longest time because it just piles up and piles up especially when you have two kids and a husband there's four of us and uh, for doing laundry for four people is like it's so hard to keep up with it so i try to do this on a weekly basis and just to get everything done but it just keeps piling up especially with our toddler and newborn they're always spitting up or making messes so um i try to get this done Pretty much every night and just try to keep up with it but most of the time it's just like sitting there and i don't get to it so it just keeps piling up let me know down in the comments below if you also have this problem because i feel like it's just never ending um so yeah laundry is just always fun times oh, oh. Yeah, you know me again 
This is my favorite part of every single night is getting my coffee prepared for the next day making sure the water is all full and just getting rid of the old um, espresso pods i just love morning time so i want to make sure it's like the easiest um, thing when i wake up and i don't have to rinse my frother or empty anything i can just kind of wake up and have my coffee mug and everything be ready to go just because morning time i'm usually exhausted from just being up half the night with my newborn but it's also just my favorite time of the day so i like having everything prepared and just having a really cute mug sitting there waiting for me just because i know it's going to be a long day with my kiddos and i'm usually exhausted so i usually prepare it um the night before and i definitely recommend doing this because you'll just feel a lot better waking up and not have to rinse any mugs or getting anything prepared in advance you can just wake up and press the start button and your coffee will be good to go and then the same thing with my dishwasher i usually run this on a nightly basis we get a lot of dishes during the day and um, i like just waking up to clean dishes so the sink is not full of dishes this is just something that i try to do every single night and it's basically a routine now i just like waking up to clean dishes nothing in the sink or no smells coming from my sink so definitely recommend doing this too so you can wake up and you can just empty the dishwasher and put any dishes from the following day in the dishwasher without them without them piling up in your sink so it just makes your life a lot easier about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different go on blind It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness In all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can't sit beside you While you're going on About your simple life 
thinking that maybe you're not different it for the cleaning portion this is basically my nightly cleaning routine i just clean up the kitchen get my coffee prepared clean up any toys as you can tell it's midnight um i don't usually clean that late but this particular night my toddler didn't want to go to sleep so that's why it was so late but anyway i just clean up all the toys and go room by room and just make sure the house is nice and clean for the following day now moving on to my healthy quinoa delicious stuffed peppers recipe. I usually set my oven to 375 or preheat it to 375 as I'm starting to cook stuff. And then this is all the stuff I'm putting in there. Just the peppers obviously. You need some taco seasoning, some quinoa or you can also use rice. And then I'm using ground chicken, cheese corn sliced olives and mushrooms and then also just different spices like garlic um, salt and pepper and some olive oil and then just putting everything on the skillet and 
using just one cup of quinoa because it does make a lot so you really don't need a lot i usually end up saving a bunch of the leftovers that i don't use in the stuffing or in the peppers i use the stuffing in another recipe so it, because it does make a lot um but yeah this is one of my favorite recipes it just makes a really healthy stuffed peppers recipe and it's super super easy and i think it took me like under 30 minutes to prepare everything and then in the oven it only takes about 30 to 45 minutes to cook i like to um cook my the ground chicken in the skillet beforehand just a little bit with the mushrooms and everything just so it doesn't have to be in the oven as long and also i just feel like it tastes better when you pre-cook it a little bit and like i said it also doesn't take as long in the oven when you kind of pre-cook it a little bit you don't have to cook the ground chicken completely thoroughly just because it is going to go in the oven for a little bit but just a little bit just to get all the stuff like cook it all together and i just think it tastes better especially the mushrooms i just feel like they taste better when they're pre-cooked on the skillet um so just yeah mix all the ingredients together and cook the stuffing there's a new day to take away your sorrow Out by the rain, darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this if you try. So after you stuff the peppers you just put them in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes just keep checking them and then a few minutes before they're done i like to take them out and put some cheeses on top of them just for that extra really good taste and they just end up tasting so good and are very popular in our household and are pretty healthy so i definitely recommend making these especially if you have low kids and you just want some healthy recipes to make at home i definitely think you will enjoy it i hope you guys enjoyed watching this clean and cook with me night edition or my nightly cleaning routine i hope you enjoyed the recipe and let me know down below if you've made this recipe with the quinoa or if you plan on making it and how it turns out hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning motivation and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys